Yo, what's going on guys, and welcome back for another episode of Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. In our previous episode, we obtained the National Dex from Professor Oak, and we made our way up to the battle area where we faced off against Gym Leader Volkner and Elite Four member Flint with our rival Jordan. So in today's episode, we're going to make our way back there because we are actually going to be doing Stark Mountain today. Uh, it's one of the more so boring parts of the after the game, so I'm just going to knock it out today and hopefully uh, be done with it. Uh, so you're going to want to fly back here to the fight area. And you want to go? You're gonna want to go uh, northwest. So you're gonna want to go fat west first, and then north. Uh, if you talk to this dweeb wait here, he will actually give you a super rod, which you can use to catch Pokemon in lakes or in oceans or in pretty much open water. Um, Pokemon that you normally wouldn't catch with a regular rod or run into with a re regular rod. So um, yeah, that's that's how, that's how you want. If you want to get the super rod, there you go. So there's gonna be a lot of trainer battles. Let the fast forwarding begin. Really cool. First time I've ever seen a Pidgeot in this game. Really easy battle, but just so you guys are aware quickly, because I know some of you guys are probably going to be asking this, just because Wukong is currently on my team or in my party right now. The Nuzlocke challenge actually, in fact, ended at the at the at the Elite Four after we defeated the final Elite Four member, which I believe was um, Lucian. The Elite or the Nuzlocke challenge ended um, because pretty much the Nuzlocke challenge ends at the Elite Four, and then the champion, like it's supposed to end at the champion. So if any Pokemon die at the champion, then the game is already over technically because there's nothing to do after you face off the champion and become champion of the center region. This here, what I'm doing is a continuation of my walkthrough. I'm just adding it onto the Nuzlocke run. That way I don't have to go back and re LP this game if I wanted to do this. You know? So Wukong is in fact alive. <laughs> That was an all right battle. Not gonna lie, it was it was pretty uh, pretty okay. So um, speaking of Wukong, I'm probably gonna switch him out and put Rhyhorn on my team because we're gonna need him. Understand now why this is one of the more so annoying after game things to do. It's because of how many trainers you're gonna run into. But if you talk to this guy right here, he'll give you a fresh water. Um, it's not like I'm gonna drink it, but to those wondering, yes, that's all you get from this house, nothing more. So let's head uh, to the mountain area now. This is actually it. Uh, another battle. Ooh. Uh, kind of a risky move to th uh, or a thing to do with my Aragon right there, but just because I know that the Nuzlocke challenge is up, I was like, screw that. You don't live once. That doesn't apply to you anymore. So let's go ahead and use uh, a Hyper Potion on my good buddy Aragon, and we'll use one on Icarus. There you go. Sweet. I love the fast forwarding. I don't know why I never used it in this game, but it's amazing. It comes in handy when you want to speed through things rather than having to wait really slowly and patiently for, for the text to go through or wool through. It's really annoying and redundant, and I really hate it. Um, we found a green shard. I have no idea what these shards do, but we keep finding these, so hopefully that will... Oh, another battle. I didn't even see you there.
Okay. <laughs> I just really hope we don't run into any more wild trainers. Because they're really annoying. It sucks. But that's alright. Survival area. Here we are finally. I'm going to go ahead and heal and meet you guys back. Alright, we actually held our healed our Pokemon and we switched uh, Wukong out for Horny because we're going to need him to use Rock Climb and Strength once we're actually inside of the mountain. Oh, don't talk. Oh, okay. I have to face him? Alright, whatever. Who cares? This guy is fighting type Pokemon. Trying to copy me. Not really. <laughs> Right, let's head down here. Um, I think we're going to want to go up here. I'm pretty sure there's like a TM somewhere around here that I want to get. Because it's somewhat important maybe. I don't know. Double battle I guess. Here we go. Everlasting battles, man. They just keep on coming. Oh, this is good training for me. You know, I can't really complain. I think this is it. This is, yep, TM53, Energy Ball. I knew there was a TM somewhere around this area, so that was it. Uh, I could have sworn it was something more important, but not really. It was just Energy Ball. Probably never going to use it. But hey, at least we have it. For those of you who want to use Energy Ball, now you know where it is. <laughs> Aw, oh, crap. Repel wore off. I really wish this game was like Black 2, where, like, as soon as a Repel runs off, or runs out, it asks you automatically, would you like to use another one? And then you just be like, yeah. I'd like that. Alright, we're gonna have to fight this little pretty thing. <laughs> Nothing stands a chance against my Ryujin. Uh, what is in this house? Um, you know what? I'm not even gonna find out. It looks like a rest area, too, where you get some fresh water. Pretty pointless. That's okay. Oh, God, don't tell me. Oh, man, I remember this part. Alright, so if you have to you have to do this perfectly, otherwise, you're gonna be screwed. Um, fast the bike and up, and chazam. Uh, do we have to? We have to battle this guy. <laughs> Right, it's Tauros, man. Time to eat that shiz. But I, I bet it, it'll taste delicious. So we need to go behind him and woo! And then fight this pretty thing. Oh my god, finally! I saw Jordan and I'm like, thank Goodness, this is like at the end. Here we are, Gym Leader Wake. What are you doing here? Oh, please, it's Sully. It's been a while. You've grown so tough that you're training out here now. Everyone keeps getting tougher and tougher. And in doing that, they develop closer bonds with their Pokemon. That's my master. Those are words of wisdom. Well, are you still having trouble understanding? I don't ever for a second recall accepting you as an apparentus. I mean, if it's wrestling moves, I could show you all you like, but. Aw, oh, master, don't be that way. You've got to get me to the club in the survival area. How did I get involved in this? So anyway, Sully, you're going to Stark Mountain? Even the wild Pokemon there are very, very tough. If your Pokemon aren't well, will have a visible time. Then again, that kind of challenge is an exciting prospect. But no matter what, you'd better be fully prepared. I've got to go get ready for another tournament. Farewell. Alright, see you later, Wake. Cracker, Wake. You know what? I think I got a little tougher again. That's why I'm off to the battle frontier so I can make some challenges. Master, wait for me! Good for you, Jordan. Talk to this old lady. I need a heal. Cause I'm sleepy. Hopefully she makes me some some cookies and milk. But I probably wouldn't need it. I don't trust old lady old women. I've seen too many horror things about them where they're like they make they're like super nice and friendly and then they feed you when they always have like poison in their food and all that junk. Yo, but this is Sully. Who are, who is, what? Who, who, who's, the, oh, it's Buck. It's that one guy. I, I remember him. The guy that we met in the last episode in the fighting area who was like, meet me at Stark Mountain. Well, here we are, man. What do you want me to do? I'm on my way to the Pokemon Center. Okay. Well, you do that. You go to the Pokemon Center while I continue doing what I was doing. 
And that is stopping Team Galactic from doing whatever the heck they were doing. Because yes, Team Galactic are actually still, in fact, a part of this game. And they are still angry. And they are still seeking revenge. That was easy. I think he is the last trainer that we're going to have to face off uh, before entering the mountain. I'm pretty sure he is because we are like literally there. Um, and heal him up because we're going to have an intense battle here in a sec against the commanders. I'm not sure who we're going to be battling. Jupiter or Mars. Either one of them. Okay, that was extremely easy. You are... A pitiful trainer, man. <laughs> like half of these trainers are, they're actually extremely weak. Either that, or I'm just like extremely overpowered, which I highly doubt. I think I'd like to think of myself as a uh, is decent leveled, you know. That's how I see myself. Okay, so we're gonna use rock climb down here, and we're gonna make it inside of the mountain, and then you're gonna actually see some real action. You're gonna be like mine effed, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I, I just get fascinated easily. That's actually true. I, I I am easily fascinated by things, but not in this game though. All right, here we are inside of the mountain. Look at all that lava. You think you die from like radiation poisoning or something, or heat stroke? Oh, what is this? Two grunts. Now we need to get deep inside. Let's do this. That's what she said. Yeah, but kid, this guy really take over. Can you replace Master Cyrus? So they're still talking about Cyrus. Apparently, Cyrus has gone missing since he's left the distortion world. I don't think anyone's seen him since. He either killed himself because he hated himself so much to the point where he wanted just to give up on life, or he's coming up with a, a schemish plan that will screw us all. Oh, it's Mars and Jupiter and that old guy. That's the old guy who did the thing. I don't know, but looks like we're gonna have an intense battle right now. <laughs> Wow, that was really intense. Like a seven minute battle. Holy crap, I don't think I've ever had a battle that long with just a commander before. 
But I think that should shut up Team Galactic for a long time. Oh, she's quitting a no-no-no thing. Oh, God, no. That's actually great. Really great for me. Now I don't have to go chasing after these guys and cleaning up their mess. Because I, I was getting really tired of that. And now that Cyrus is gone. Um, I don't think anyone can do anything. Uh, in the next episode, we actually will be can finishing up the rest of this Stark Mountain area. And at the end of the episode, hopefully, if we have the time, we will catch Heatran. Because he is in this, um... He is in the mountain, so he, he'll be the first legendary on our list that we'll, that we'll be catching. So, get get stoked for that, because it's going to be intense. I'm going to actually need to go back and buy a ton of balls. Because balls are good, and they will help me. Alright, so I guess that pretty much does it for this episode. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.